Hi, Cancer. This is your bonus reading for October 2022. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for October 2022. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for October 2022. In love. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for October 2022. In love. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Cancer. This is a mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Cancer. This is you. This is your partner. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, Cancer, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For October 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Cancer, is the Knight of Pentacles. To excuse me. Excuse me, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is either you or your partner coming in to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long-lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So listen, Cancer, everything has come to a screeching halt. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer and their partner. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Cancer and their partner. It is clarified with the two of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So listen, Cancer, you're needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. So listen, someone may be trying to decide whether or not to go stagnant, or we went stagnant and we're trying to figure out where to go from here. Cancer, you have the fool. You have the sun. <clears throat> you have the high priestess your partner has the queen of wands this is fire your partner has the king i meant the queen of pentacles and your partner has the four of wands so cancer the mutual point of interest and in what's on both you guys' minds is listen someone may be trying to decide whether or not to go stagnant or we are stagnant and we're trying to figure out where to go from here Cancer, you have the fool. Could be dealing with Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So listen, Cancer, could be dealing with a Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on a brand new journey, or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool. For cancer, clarify the fool. For cancer, clarify the fool. For cancer, it is clarified with the eight of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. 
like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or you're blocking communication. Now listen, you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something. I just want to set out on a brand new journey, but I'm stuck. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance here and you're blocking communication. Cancer, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth and development and freedom. So Cancer, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you're over the moon here, yes. Or you're telling me that something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun. <laughs> Excuse me, for cancer. Clarify the sun. For cancer. Clarify the sun. For cancer. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, cancer, or Pisces. This is... <clears throat> sorry. <clears throat> sorry. This is... We are reunited. And it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry. And celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited. And it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So, Cancer, listen. You can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting. Or there was a third party. Now, listen. You can tell me that, hey, you're happy over the moon here because you have just cause to celebrate. Is this the celebration over here? You can tell me that you're happy because you guys are reuniting. However, you can tell me that something was illuminated, something came to light concerning there being a third party here. Cancer, you have the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition, but you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me you're using your intuition or there is a secret. You have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer. Clarify the high priestess for Cancer. It is clarified with the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So listen, Cancer, you can tell me that you're conflicted within, yes. You can tell me that you guys had this conflict, disagreement, argument, some type of drama here. Now listen, yes, you could tell me that you guys had some type of drama, disagreement, argument, and you're not speaking. But you could also tell me that you're conflicted within and you're using your intuition here. Maybe you're wanting to do something and kind of stuck on what to do. Like this is saying, okay? You know, you can tell me that things are just stagnant here and you're trying to figure out what to do, okay? And where to go from here, <clears throat> Cancer. Your partner has a queen of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or your partner's wanting to take action, okay? Excuse my throat, okay? Every, I, I sleep with the air conditioner on for a reason, okay? And every morning when I wake up, it just it's like this. Until I talk for a long time and then it's out, okay? But I have to keep the air conditioner on at this point in my life because I'm going through some changes, okay? Changes. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Cancer's partner. 
It is clarified with the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Cancer, listen, very well could be something going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack. However, there very well could be a breakup here, okay? So maybe we're taking action to break up over this fussing and fighting here. Listen, Cancer, your partner has a Queen of Wands. I meant, really? <sighs> the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify for the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, but this devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So listen, Cancer, could be dealing with a Capricorn, but when we're dealing with this devil energy, this can speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Cancer's partner. Clarify the devil for Cancer's partner. Clarify the devil for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your partner's attention or they're beginning to recognize something or they're getting attention and recognition. So listen, Cancer, your partner could tell me that they're trying to get your attention. You could be getting their attention. Your partner could tell me that something is being brought to someone's attention. They're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Listen, so listen, yes, it could have been brought to someone's attention that something is toxic here. Very well could have found out that there was a third party here. However, <clears throat> is it that your partner's trying to get your attention to go into a legal binding contract? Because your partner has the four of wands. We'll see how do we go from broken up to let's, let's get married. Four of wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home. But this is the marriage ceremony card. So listen, Cancer, this can be about your partner's foundation, their stability. This can be about leveling up, commitment, marriage. This can be a ceremony, a celebration but also property. Clarify the four of wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the four of wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the four of wands for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the knight of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. <clears throat> this is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Cancer, your partner could tell me that there's a rush to do something here. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument, or someone was out being a player getting cookie somewhere oh god clarify the knight of wands oh goodness child 
Listen, clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer's partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Cancer's partner. It is clarified with the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there is a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. So your partner could be receiving love messages and an apology. They could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produce because pages are children and there is a fish in this cup clarify the page of cups for cancer's partner clarify the page of cups for cancer's partner clarify the page of cups for cancer's partner it is clarified with the ten of wands Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your partner's shoulders. Something is a burden here for your partner. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is your partner wanting to release a burden. So listen, Cancer, your partner is saying something is burdensome here, and they're just wanting to release it. Now, listen, it very well could be that your partner's saying, okay, yes, we had this heated discussion or argument with this Russian and going off, going hand passionately. I want to release this burden by coming in to apologize, but maybe not just to apologize. Maybe wanting to make an announcement here. Maybe wanting to go into commitment. And you're happy about this commitment, but also conflicted with them concerning it and kind of stuck on whether or not you want to do it. However, your partner could tell me that, and this is this is what kind of slowed my momentum down because is it that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love out being a player at this home here? And maybe this is the reason why your partner's wanting to take action to go out of the house here. Huh. Listen, we're trying to figure out where to go from here, okay? You know, it... It very well could very well be that, yes, we had this ar just we just had this argument and yes, someone's apologizing. But it could also be that, like I said, your partner is wanting to come in to make an announcement here. But something happened. You know, something happened because your partner may even want to take action to break up and maybe move out here. So what are they seeing? Is it coming to light that there's a third party? And is it happening in this home or this location here? Cancer, this is your bonus reading for October 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.